Oh yeah. Uh, a few people have asked after seeing one of the other videos I did. Would I just run through how a system is set up and how to clean the system and maybe some maintenance? So I'm going to just do a couple of videos. I'm going to keep them as short as I can. So this obviously there's more than one way to skin a cat, and some of you guys will already know this. Um, but for there's a lot of guys out there who don't have any experience in this, so this might help someone hopefully. So uh, I'm Gordon. We're Nine White Deer Brewery in Ballyborny and Cork. So we make uh, six different beers, including a stout, an old traditional Irish stout. Um, and a brewery buys, installs, maintains, and cleans all the equipment in bars that they put it through. It's not the publican who does it, uh, for the most part. So we have a good experience in installing equipment. We've booked, I don't know, we've a lot of accounts out there anyway where we were installed ourselves. Um, my background is engineering, been brewing for the past 20 years since uh, 1999, um, so I have a fair idea what we're, what we're doing here. So um, here's the basic system. We use uh, big commercial bottles of gas, but we are also, this is uh, easy gas or Irish oxygen uh, for the commercial side of it. Um, and they also have small cylinders, which we're an agent for, which are are those. Um, and so they're they're a 10 litre bottle. They'll do uh, 10 to 12, 50 litre cakes, something like that. Um, so let's just run through quickly, run through everything. Um, I'll show you to set up a regulator and stuff as well. So I'm just going to switch the camera around. So uh, this is a fly lead for the regulator. Some regs are. Uh, mounted on the bottle and some are mounted on the wall with the fly lead. I just want to show you that there's an o-ring in there and uh, some of them are solid brass and some are, are an o-ring. If you have an o-ring on it there's a couple of things you need to do. You can't, if you over tighten it you'll just tear the o-ring. So there's normally a plastic handle that goes over the nut. Usually that's enough. So, see that sits over the nut. I'll just give it a tiny little bit of a nip, 24 mil spanner. That's it, it doesn't take much at all. So, I'll just back off the regulator and show you how to set it. So, uh, we'll go anti-clockwise on this. That just pushes in the diaphragm. That's a little lock nut. When you've it set, you can put it to whatever you want and our pressure is zero. So that's our line pressure. Um, that's our uh, bottle pressure. Bottle pressure should be about 150 to 200 bar. Um, and our line pressure, we're only a short little system here. We're not trying to push it 100 feet into, 100 meters into a pub or something. So two bar is ample. So we turn on our gas. open all the way just give it a small turn so now if anyone touches it they know it's open if it's loose um, if you had it backed up all the way it's just a habit really if you had it open all the way someone touches it in a tight they may think that it's shut but when you open it fully just hit it a turn back and now someone touches it yeah that's open so there's our pressure reading zero and we want to bring that up to two bar so I'm going to screw in the regulator that just pushes in a diaphragm and brings up the pressure. One bar. Two bar. And you can, it's no harm to adjust back if you're having problems, if your stout is pouring high in you for some reason. Um, don't be afraid to make an adjustment. Each system should actually be balanced um, and you've just got to bear in mind this is not a big long system it is very little resistance between the keg and the tap and you need to account for that 38 to 42 psi does not cover every situation so here's our tapping head we use the Sankey system you have a number of different types so uh, European Sankey which Heineken uh, Murphy's those guys use as well um, there's a few different systems out there so our wash bottle 
a plastic wash bottle, always cold water, and we use a beer line cleaner. So, uh, Django, it's cheap as chips, really. This is what, about 15 quid, 11 to 15 quid. We're going to be using 80 litres per 5 litres of cleaner. Um, like for this system, you need 5 litres. Uh, if you're to half that, 2.5 litres in the wash bottle and 40 ml of cleaner is ample. Um, again, it's short systems we're dealing with. We need to bear that in mind. So our gas is on. Uh, comes through the regulator. It's 160 bar through there. Through the regulator, drops it down to 2 bar. There's a valve in here which splits it. Um, I'm using a Maxi 210 cooler, uh, a two-line cooler. So I'm just splitting it into two. And this goes to one tapping head. This goes to the other. Um, so into this one, into our gas side of our tapping head, which is that one. So I'll dismantle these in another video and show you how to overhaul them. So cleaner in. Um, That's this, locked in, bottle pressurized. So we just run cleaner through. And what you're gonna see is the beer will come out, then there's gonna be a bit of gunk that it's gonna strip off the line so you'll get cleaner coming through. There's gonna be a bit of brown in it. Um, leave that run until it comes clear. So if it spits like that, that's an air gap, which has come through all the system. So I know now that there's cleaner in here. Do not rub this with your fingers. It's a strong alkaline solution and it'll dissolve the grease and oils in your skin and not good. So always use gloves when you're doing this. I don't actually have any cleaner in this. The system is clean, I'm just showing you what we would do. So we'd leave that uh, for 15, 20 minutes. Again, cold water. Then we'd empty out our wash bottle, rinse it, rinse it again, and then fill it with cold water. And now we would push cold water through and we'll run all of five litres all the way through the system. So a full bottle all the way through. Um, I know you use a bit of gas, but a clean system is one of the most important things that you can do at home. Um, tap all the way down. And again, don't be rubbing it to try and tell when the water is coming through. Just run five litres through it and you know it. So again, you want to be wearing some eye protection when you're doing this. It's a chlorine-based alkaline cleaner. It's quite a high pH in it, so you need to you need to mine that stuff. So that's it. That's how to clean your system. Um, decouple. Uh, some of them, some of the wash bottles, don't have an O-ring in here or a seal. So when you lift this up and take it off, it's going to be spitting out. So what you do when you lift the the release just take the every wash bottle has a relief valve on it vent off the pressure and now when you take it out it's not going to spit anything at you so it's not going to spit up in your face so that's it you have a clean line you can now connect it up to your your keg and turn on your gas again and away you go